Hey guys, it's Billy Rude from 58 Magazine, and thank you for watching these videos about navigating reality. In this video, I'm going to talk about truth. And this knowledge about truth is going to be very, very confronting, especially for your ego or your second mind. But just know this information is coming out of love, and especially during this time, it is of vital importance. So please make sure you're in a space to receive this truth. So I want to talk about this reality and the knowledge about Carlos Castaneda and shamanism, which you can also experience in the Matrix movies. So the Matrix movies have a lot of Buddhism and shamanism, and this information, you could even say the Matrix is a documentary. So this information is coming from the second attention, and the second attention is the spiritual world. In the spiritual world is the unseen, their energy body, and the way that this reality works, and if you think about the universe, this is going to expand your mind and your consciousness and your awareness. So please be aware, if you have not heard this info, that it's in movies, it's available online, and it's definitely in Mexican shamanism. And there's a reason that the books that Carlos Castaneda wrote about shamanism, that there haven't been more books like that since. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. The info is that we have a mind that is called a flyer's mind. We actually have two minds. And one is implanted and inherited in us in birth. The human body generates more bioelectricity than a 120 volt battery and over 25,000 BTUs of body heat. Combined with a form of fusion, the machines had found all the energy they would ever need. There are fields, endless fields, where human beings are no longer born. We are grown. For the longest time, I wouldn't believe it. And then I saw the fields with my own eyes. Watched them liquefy the dead so they could be fed intravenously to the living. And standing there, Facing the pure, horrifying precision, I came to realize the obviousness of the truth. What is the Matrix? Control. The Matrix is a computer-generated dream world, built to keep us under control in order to change a human being into this. And in Matrix, they talk about our energy body being used by AI to then turn our energy into a battery. I didn't say it would be easy, Neo. I just said it would be the truth. Stop! Let me out! Let me out! I want out! And so that translation in shamanism is that when we we're born, we're a glorious, luminous ball of light. And we come to Earth, or these inorganic beings that feed off our awareness to survive. And these inorganic beings are called thoughts or parasites. Eddie, hi, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling, I'm sick. Well, Eddie, you have a parasite. Uh, they're not exactly sure how you got it, but it would explain the fever. That would make sense. Also, I'm, I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing a voice. What the hell are you? You did not find us. We found you. Think of yourself as my ride. I know everything, Eddie. You do? Everything about you. How? I am inside your head. You are a loser, Eddie. Are you gonna, are you gonna eat anybody else? Most likely. Oh, my God. That is why we are here. Cooperate, and you might just survive. That is the deal. And they used this flyer's mind, or you could call, they implanted, let's say, they have a mind like a thief, and they kidnap us, they kidnap our energy body, and implant their mind into our mind. Sound frequency and MRI is really harmful, friend. What, so sound is like his kryptonite? Not all sounds. And fire. Fire and fire. He's talking to you. Always. Are you in pain? No. 
No, I will throw anything at Steve. I'm, I'm hungry all the time. And you feel sad, do you not, Eddie, when you are with her? Get out of my head, man. This is what Sorrento should be seeing. But this, this is what we're making him see. We grabbed him in transit just as he was logging out of the Oasis. So he thinks he's back at his office in the real world, but actually, he's here in the identical office that H built. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage. Born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. So we don't even know that we're being controlled by inorganic beings because they present us thoughts, which then we get distracted, confused, and manipulated thinking that they're our thoughts, our beliefs. But they are from another dimension. They are from inorganic beings that use the human energy body to feed off of, just like in the Matrix. Have you ever stood and stared at it, marveled at its beauty, its genius? Billions of people just living out their lives, oblivious. I believe that as a species, human beings define their reality through misery and suffering. In a perfect world, no dream that your primitive cerebrum kept trying to wake up from. Which is why the Matrix was redesigned to this, the peak of your civilization. And I say your civilization, because as soon as we started thinking for you, it really became our civilization, which is, of course, what this is all about. Evolution, Morpheus. Evolution. What are they doing to him? They're breaking into his mind. It's like hacking a computer. All it takes is time. How much time? Depends on the mind. But eventually it'll crack, and his alpha patterns will change from this to this. This parasite, whatever this parasite. is, it's eating you That's from the inside. It's not. You're using him up. No, she is wrong. Eddie, we need to get you to the ICU. Wait, shh. Am I, Eddie, am I dying? No. You're killing him. They do not know what they are talking about. Listen, you have got to keep control of your aggression. That is why we have Snooky. I cannot live on chicken and chocolate alone. I need brains. Chickens have brains. I most passionately disagree. Look. Look, those poor idiots. Small brains. Come on, man. It's not their fault. You, uh, you live on the old Fenilathala line. Yeah, I just... I just I've told you a thousand times because it yeah. is only found in brains yeah. and in chocolate. chocolate. That's right. All right, well, how about this? You live in my body. You live by my rules. I live in your body because, what? unfortunately, I don't have many options. I can't go back, can I? No. But if you could, would you really want to? I feel I owe you an apology. We have a rule. We never free a mind once it's reached a certain age. It's dangerous. The mind has trouble letting go. I've seen it before and I'm sorry. I did what I did because I had to. As long as the Matrix exists, the human race will never be free. He's in trouble, Dan. Yeah, trouble is his thing. Are there gonna be aliens again? No, of course not. Eddie was wrong! He kept me hidden because he was ashamed! But look at me now! You love me! And I'm free! Stop this cruel treatment of aliens! It is wrong! All of us should be able to live together upon this ball of rock! I wish you could have seen me tonight. Eddie. Why are we here? Did you miss me? No.
but I know someone who does. Where is she? It's for you to find out. The Oracle prophesied his return, and that his coming would hail the destruction of the Matrix, end the war, bring freedom to our people. That is why there are those of us who have spent our entire lives searching the Matrix, looking for him. I did what I did because I believe that search is over. I always talk about the ego as AI because like in the Matrix, they're everywhere. They're in everyone and nothing. If you are not one of us, you are one of them. What are they? Sentient programs. They can move in and out of any software still hardwired to their system. That means that anyone we haven't unplugged is potentially an agent. Inside the Matrix, they are everyone and they are no one. We have survived by hiding from them, by running from them. But they are the gatekeepers. They are guarding all the doors, they are holding all the keys, which means that sooner or later, someone is going to have to fight them. Someone? I won't lie to you, Neil. Every single man or woman who has stood their ground, everyone who has fought an agent has died. But where they have failed, you will succeed. Why? I've seen an agent punch through a concrete wall. Men have emptied entire clips at them and hit nothing but air. Yet their strength and their speed are still based in a world that is built on rules. Because of that, they will never be as strong or as fast as you can be. What are you trying to tell me? That I can dodge bullets? No, Neo. I'm trying to tell you that when you're ready, you won't have to. And they can take over whenever they want because of our unawareness. And once you realize this truth about this reality, is that we're here to experience this test of our energy body, because that's who we really are. And we can choose to either be fed upon it. It is inevitable or to ascend and rid ourselves of these inorganic beings by belief and intention and discipline. How did I beat you? You're too fast. Do you believe that my being stronger or faster has anything to do with my muscles in this place? You're faster than this. Don't think you are, know you are. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. trying to do I'm trying to free your mind Neo but I can only show you the door you're the one that has to walk through it because you have to realize thought comes from a place of lack because in wholeness there's no need to think or have a motive for anything and so if all thought creates reality you have to realize that these inorganic beings that create thought have, has created this illusionary, limited reality, which is what the Matrix is kind of resembling and metaphoring and visualizing and symbolizing. Dodge this. And the thing that's really profound, if you think about this, is that when we're born, when we have a child, we're basically providing food for these inorganic beings. We are providing sustenance for them to continue the cycle of reincarnation because we aren't aware of our power and belief. We can become free of them with discipline, just like in the Matrix. The ego mind or this flyer's mind can't concentrate. So that's why I make these videos at a certain length and a certain amount of awareness needed because it forces you to concentrate. It forces the flyer's mind to leave. 
because it can't handle concentration and focus. You need to realize that that's disciplining your mind with knowledge, empowerment, and wisdom. And with those disciplines, you can free yourself of this flyer's mind or this AI ego construct. So this is a hard truth, a hard pill to swallow. But once you are holding that truth within you, then you have to realize ascension is about being aware of anything outside of us. It's being aware of these inorganic beings and this flyer's mind that is not the real us. That is not who we really are. Who we are is this emptiness and this silence because all thought creates suffering. And when you watch this video, you can recognize that you will feel something. It will change you, not on the outside, but from within. And moving forward, I want to create content that will change you. I owe you an apology, 007. You are onto something. And it seems they were all part of one organization. Le Chief, Quantum, Sciara, your friend, Mr. Silver. And do you know who links them all? Him. Exactly. It will make you realize that there is more to this world and this reality than what we're experiencing right now. And I'm going to use these Bond films to represent that Bond is kind of like everyone's consciousness right now. This may be too much for a blunt instrument to understand, but arrogance and self-awareness seldom go hand in hand. So you want me to be half monk, half hitman? Any thug can kill. I want you to take your ego out of the equation and to judge the situation dispassionately. I have to know I can trust you and that you know who to trust. And since I don't know that, I need you out of my sight. Go and stick your head in the sand somewhere and think about your future. Because these bastards want your head. And I'm seriously considering feeding you to them. We are in a prison that we can't see. We are manipulated by beings that we can't see. So we have to become aware of how they control us. And it's by thought and belief. And you have to realize that how you feel is a gauge of how much control they have over you. Because your energy is like Trinity and is being controlled by these beings with your thoughts and beliefs. I'm the money. Every penny of it. And you have to free Trinity, your energy, from these attachments to thought and belief. Just like Neo does when he stops the bullets because the bullets symbolize thought. And once you have a mind of intention, you can stop thoughts. You can have an empty mind that's not full of self-importance or attachments. You lost because of your ego. And that same ego can't take it. That's what this is about. All you're going to do now is lose more. Which is why when Morpheus shows Neo this the real world, it's a it's to symbolize that there is no self-importance. That you're in a world that is empty, that doesn't need anything because you have full belief in self. We marveled at our own magnificence as we gave birth to AI. AI? You mean artificial intelligence? A singular consciousness that spawned an entire race of machines. And the whole AI symbolism metaphor is because they're inorganic. They're not organic like us. I have to flush them out. You gotta love a lot, it's gonna take time. Oh, you don't understand. I... Have you ever had someone take your brain and play? Pull you out. And stuff something else in. You know what it's like to be unmade. This is monsters and magic and nothing we were ever trained for. And I bet even in your mind, you feel a sense of fear or you sense a uneasiness. When they do show up, it's a sure sign that carnage and bloodshed are not far behind. Morning. They don't cause it, they feed on it. The more boat acts that show up, the bigger the eventual feast. They're attracted to evil like bees to flowers. They know when death is coming and want to watch. They don't show up for any ordinary death. They want extreme, operatic violence and terror. That is because those are those inorganic beings not wanting to be caught. Those are the inorganic beings' fear. And you have to conquer those parts of you in order to ascend. If we don't do this, there will be nothing left to save. And that's why it's been kind of a hard letting go for me these past few months, because I've realized that 
And I don't want to be in a relationship that is unaware that we are food for these inorganic beings until I meet someone that is aware, just like myself, and wants to ascend so they leave us. And the only way that that's possible is you have to keep believing in yourself and what you're here to create. Because when you create out of your heart, it changes the world, just like those Matrix films. And yes, they might be using the knowledge to kind of rub in our faces in a way, but it still has affected us. And that's why I'm using this knowledge to use then those movies to educate and empower you to realize that we're not here to have goals and just make money and continue to have families without awareness. Because we can still have families and children without this mind attached to them. The Matrix is a system, Neil. That system is our enemy. But when you're inside, you look around, what do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters, the very minds of the people we are trying to save. But until we do, these people are still a part of that system and that makes them our enemy. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it. Can you imagine that a whole family can ascend together? They can exit this reality, can realize that we're in costumes and that we don't have to fight over who has the best looking or most talented costume, but that there's a zipper that we can exit this reality, this construct together as a family. Well, I suppose I see a different world than you do. And the truth is that what I see frightens me. I'm frightened because our enemies are no longer known to us. They do not exist on a map. They're not nations. They're individuals. Look around you. Who do you fear? Can you see a face, a uniform, a flag? No. Our world is not more transparent now. It's more opaque. It's in the shadows. That's where we must do battle. And those are things that I feel super passionate and important right now in my life because I'm trying to find the truth to then realize my own potential and why I'm here. And I've realized that the ego, this flyer's mind, and these inorganic beings are the only thing stopping us from happiness and joy. And until we become aware of this... I'm serious. Is this really what you want? Living in the shadows, hunting, being hunted, always looking behind you, always alone. I'm not sure I ever had a choice. Anyway, I don't stop to think about it. What would happen if you did? Stop? Yes. I don't know. You know I think you're wrong. I am. We always have a choice. Just like the Bond films, the ego will create things outside of us to basically take us with it. What are they? They're... They're nanobots. Right. Microscopic bio-robots that can enter your system by the slightest contact with your skin. Programmed with DNA to target specific individuals. Heracles was... It was designed to be the most efficient weapon in our arsenal, passing through people harmlessly before reaching its intended target. But Obrichev modified the nanobots so that they can kill anyone related to the target. Anyone? Well, since it's DNA-based, with further modifications, yes. Families, certain genetic traits, single nucleotide variants and polymorphisms that could target a range from individuals to whole ethnicities. You infect enough people, and the people become the weapon. It was never intended to be a weapon of mass destruction. It was... Because right now the energy is becoming so high vibrational that this flyer's mind, these inorganic beings, are dying. <laughs> you really don't know anything about us. <laughs> it's so amusing because we are on the other side thinking, oh, the MI6, the CIA, they're looking over our shoulders, they're listening to our conversations, and the truth is you don't even know we exist. Well, we do now, Mr. White. 
Well, the, the first thing you should know about us is that we have people everywhere. Am I right? And you can experience that with these very, very negative thoughts and beliefs that you have to take a vaccine, that we can get sick and spread it to each other unless we wear a mask or a vaccine. Those are all con constructs of these flyers' mind, of these inorganic beings. I believe in defending the principles of this, of this. But we used to be able to get into a room with the enemy. We could look him in the eye. Now that the enemy is just floating in the ether. And they create things outside of us, projecting it as itself. Just point and click. Well, everybody needs a hobby. So what's yours? Resurrection. So these vaccines, in a way, can be poison because it's creating control over our energy body. How do I get this off? Oh, you don't. You can't. Nanobots aren't just for Christmas. <laughs> Once Heracles is in your system, it's there forever. And I'm sorry if you aren't aware of this info, or if you've even taken the vaccine, there are still ways that it can be neutralized, and I will list it in the info. You can find these supplements to neutralize the poison in the, in the vaccines, in the info, in this video. Because you have to realize that we are pure energy, and every thought is trying to control our energy from being abundant and here to create our dreams. Ask yourselves, how safe do you feel? We are not now that strength which in old days moved earth and heaven. That which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic hearts, made weak by time and fate, but strong in will to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. That's how the universe tests us and created this reality because these inorganic beings have a purpose. This is how the universe feeds itself and eats itself. The thing that no one wants to admit is that most people want things to happen to them. We tell each other lies about the fight for free will and independence, but we don't really want that. We want to be told how to live and then die when we are not looking. People want oblivion, and a few of us are born to build it for them. So here I am, their invisible god, sneaking under their skin. And right now we're in a cycle where that's going to end, but only the true awakened or enlightened beings with the full knowingness of self will continue and grow because Mother Earth will then gift us with this body to then use to travel all over the universe and be able to do whatever that we can imagine and create within our minds because we are creators of realities. We used to create planets, universes, and galaxies, and now we're here on this reality and we can barely create a day where we are happy and joyful because I'm realizing that there aren't a lot of happy and joyful people in the world. Even people like celebrities or people with a lot of money or have a huge career and are successful, they are lacking something inside because we are all here because we are lacking something. This is a reality to, to remind us that there was something lacking in us called love and that we need to remember that. You're not going to let me in there, are you? You've got your armor back on. That's that. I have no armor left. You stripped it from me. Whatever is left of me. Whatever is left of me. Whatever I am. I'm yours.
so we can ascend and realize that we are so much more powerful than this mind, this lower mind, this flyer's mind, and this construct of this matrix and this ego. Because when you look at the characters in the matrix, the AI characters, or Agent Smith, they all have one mind. They finish each other's sentences just like a flyer's mind. Never send a human to do a machine's job. If indeed the insider has failed, they'll sever the connection as soon as possible, unless... They're dead, in either case. We have no choice but to continue as planned. Deploy the Sentinels immediately. It was all me, James. It's always been me, the author of all your pain. We have to come together and realize that we don't have a mind, but we are all connected by the energy of our heart. And when we all are fully connected, we can create like an atomic bomb in our mind that frees us from these inorganic beings. And you can experience these inorganic beings by drugs, psychedelics. They're the beings that live in the shadows or that appear to us when you take DMT. Those are real beings. They aren't just holographic presentations of, of this reality. They are inorganic beings that exist in our mind. Part of your kingdom is yes. is it? Take it. What happens if she takes it? She's yours. How? It's just. It's. No, but it's. Have you noticed the serpents? The serpents? What serpents? That shows medicine the serpents. Is that what you're talking about? No, I don't think you're talking nonsense. Hmm? So you work through pharmacia, witchcraft. Hmm? So is it all part of your plan? I arrest you in the name of Jesus. Is it part of your plan? Hmm? It has black magic in it. She already knew that. It's got black magic in it. So what happens when people take it? Hmm? What is it going to do to the people in the long run? Kill them before repentance. When are they going to die? When are they going to start dying? What's the plan? I don't know. But the is going to kill them. Does it protect them from COVID? Not at all. Not at all. But they say it protects them from, the, from COVID, so you say it doesn't matter. Because they were also working with us. Who? The ones that say it. Really? Now why do they want to kill the people? Hmm? Why well, is Jesus coming soon? Yes. So they're trying to kill as many as they can before he comes. When is he coming? Soon. You don't know. No one knows. But we know it's soon, right? Time is short, right? So where have you been every time we've cast you out? Hmm? Waiting. Waiting. Waiting for what? A good place to come back. Oh. Waiting for a good place to come back? Yeah. What's a good place to come back? A door. A door. So you're waiting for a door to be opened. What doors do Christians open for demons to come in? Unforgiveness, hatred, and fear. Fear. So I apologize that this information was a little too much to handle. But in this reality, there's a solution for everything, no matter what you chose to do with the vaccine or not. There's always solutions. And if you have that belief in mind, then there's nothing to fear. But you have to realize that we aren't this mind. We are here to learn about ourselves and to create with challenges so we can really remember who we are. And I really hope that this video will empower you to start disciplining your own self. And I'm always here to help and guide and support you in whatever way I can with all my free content or even now my reality consulting because it's only going to get a little bit more challenging 
And for my teacher, she's even told us there's, there's less than 600 days until this reality is going to collapse. So within that time, that means that these inorganic beings are gonna do whatever they can to feed off of us. It's gonna be almost like a feast to them in terms of energy. The goal is to grow a population as large as possible. Once the population exceeds the planet's ability to sustain it, it's considered ripe for harvest. Harvest? So they're gonna to try to feed off our energy by controlling us. They abandoned it almost overnight. He made them think there was a leak at the chemical plant. It's amazing the panic you can cause with a single computer. He wanted the island, so he took it. Does he always get what he wants? More than you know. With thoughts of control, manipulation, and fear. Do you know what this will do to people when they find out the truth? I don't think that most people would want to know the truth. I do. The fear you feel is this flyer's mind and not wanting to be caught. It is not your fear. And you have to make that distinction. And once you do, you can become free. Because freedom is not fighting the outside because that's a creation of our inside. You have to realize that our energy body is feminine. It's pure cosmic energy. And the outside is the masculine creation. It's the reality. And until we are loving our creation, our masculine world, that means our energy is being controlled and manipulated by this ego mind. I wish I could set you free. But your prison is in there. And I just created a full video about this ego mind that is represented in the film Shang-Chi. So that is the basic, easiest way to understand how this ego mind works. And if you go deeper, you can watch the Matrix films. There's a reason why this Matrix films are coming out right now, because there are some beings that are able to share this knowledge in a creative way that can be represented in a three-dimensional reality coming from maybe a fourth or fifth dimensional knowingness. As you know all too well, dear Madeleine, a man lives inside his head. That's where the seat of his soul is. I'm going to penetrate to where you are, to the inside of your head. Now, the first probe will play with your sight, your hearing, and your balance, just with the subtlest of manipulations. I'll get on with it then. Nothing can be as painful as listening to you talk. And I'm here to be that bridge to help communicate this multi-dimensional knowledge in these movies to empower you and to make you remember who you really are and what you're here to do. And hopefully this will give you some insight to more about my work and what I'm here to do and maybe stop you from being distracted by other info or other knowledge or other content that is unaware of this truth. So remember, there's less than 600 days of this reality. And if you want to survive or ascend, you have to face this truth inside of you. This is the only way we can create this new reality of pure bliss and joy by disciplining ourselves, this mind, and freeing us, just like Neo did, creating a mind that is empty, that there's no self-importance, that there's no desire, and there's no lack. For what felt like five minutes of my life, I wanted everything with you. And it's not because I didn't trust. It's just that feeling. You know, now I've, I've come here to find out who, who gave you the poison. But I'm not going to leave here without you knowing that I have loved you and I will love you and I do not regret a single moment of my life that led me to you. And once you realize this, you have more compassion for yourself because of this challenge and this difficulty, but you also realize that until 
everyone is aware of this truth, they're more like an agent and against you than with you. And that's a hard pill to swallow. We can't keep working in the shadows. There are no more shadows. You don't get this, do you? Whoever's behind this, whoever's doing it, he knows us. He's one of us. He comes from the same place as Bond, the place you say doesn't exist. The shadows. Wash yourselves. When you love someone, you accept the whole person with all of their defects. Defects? Nobody is perfect. Just go back, go back. You tell me, you just said that you love me. Um, you did. So think about this. Email me, message me, join the 58 membership so you can keep yourself disciplined and empowered during these times of chaos. Now you have a choice. Die trying to save her, or save yourself and live with the pain. You're bluffing. Am I? But at least he understood what he was up against. You see, they fail to comprehend the crucial fact that a terrible event can lead to something wonderful. The things that bring people together. Out of horror, beauty. And realize that there's a whole community of us that are trying to educate and empower people to create a new reality free of this mind and these inorganic beings. You have made the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. She's perfect. Because she came from you. I love you. I love you too. But you have to walk through the door. I can only present you this info, but you have to do this work. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. And I'm here to help you with that. That is my mission. That is why I'm here. To create awareness and content to free us from this mind to then create this new reality. So thank you guys again for watching this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my 58 membership for $25 a month. So you can join my Telegram for 24-7 support and content to keep empowering you and disciplining your life so you can be free of fear. I know you're out there. I can feel you now. I know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. I don't know the future. I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. I'm going to hang up this phone, and then I'm going to show these people what you don't want them to see. I'm going to show them a world without you. A world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries. A world where anything is possible. Where we go from there is a choice I leave to you. And thank you guys again for watching this Navigating Reality video, and I hope you have a wonderful day. The function of man is to live, not to exist. I shall not waste my days trying to prolong them. I shall use my time. Time to fly.